Got a new light here. Check out this puppy. This thing is bright. We're gonna be taking this up to a, uh, a showing, taking a couple samples off a of showing, trying to avoid the wind and the falling trees while we uh, test this puppy out. So this is a good long range flashlight. And uh, I've used this actually uh, for about 10 minutes the other day and it shines pretty far so let's see how this works when we're up in the mountain so it's pretty dark now it's about five o'clock you can sort of see the mountain over there this is the flashlight we got So this beam is supposed to shine for like a kilometer. Right here, you got uh, the entrance of a little added here. So that goes in about 20 meters, 25 meters with a little veer off to the left. And Reportedly following a quartz vein with free mill gold. I've been in here. There's not too much left in there Everything's been cleaned out So we're getting close to the starts of the deposit Lots of water coming down here Anyway You have a zone that's about 20 meters wide at minimum, closer to 30 meters as a maximum, starts about here. And you have a schistose rock with pyrite, semi-massive pyrite, sometimes massive. And it starts about here. You can sort of see the uh, schist change color. It's a sericite schist. Change the light to a bit lower power so you can see up close. See all the pyrotization there. And uh, up here, this pyrite contains a little calico pyrite and it's running about up to 1% copper. And as you go down, the mountain over here, it transitions to a bit more calcopyrite, and uh, we've had a sample of say a couple percent, just over a couple percent copper. And this zone continues all the way along here to about here, just past this mound here. So it's about 30 meters wide up here. And this is a giant outcrop that's jutting out of sericite schists. But on the back side of it is the prize. We've exposed a lot of this over the past year. And this is a Kuroko type VMS deposit. You can see that right there. This is iron and you've got sphalerite in there. So we've, we've taken samples from all the way over here all the way to the back there, so over about four meters. And uh, we've done XRFs on this, we've done multiple ICP analysis. We've done fire and save for gold. Gold's running on average about 
half a gram to a gram and you got a couple grams of silver in there and you got some really high zinc up to about 15% zinc in the darker areas there and uh, a couple percent copper so we're here today just to expose a little bit more and take a sample off we'll show you guys a sample below the road there's a secondary road 100 meters down which has that pyrite zone over there exposed and uh, you can see calcopyrite chunks in there we're clearing this area off basically this whole floor here is loaded with mineralization i'll show you some of the samples i just pulled off right now you can see the high grade zinc it's nice sphalerite right in there you can see the layering and how it's deposited just loaded and it's all all through this outcrop and all along here so this is going to be a lot of exposing to expose this to the extent we want and it's going to take a while but you can just see So a VMS deposit doesn't typically have to contain a crazy amount of gold or silver to make it viable because VMS deposits are generally large. There's uh, three on this mountain, three larger ones, and there was something like uh, 400,000 tons of ore taken out. And uh, there's still a couple hundred thousand tons of reserves. We did spend a few hours here hammering away. You can see very nice mineralization. Here's a few of the samples we pulled out. And you can see how this is deposited. You see the layering there. This is a very, very nice VMS deposit. So well, let's make our way back. So we made it back to our vehicle. We're just testing out this light to see the, the range on this and I'll show you something over here. Those trees, way up at the top over there those are 500 meters away I, I know because I checked with my rangefinder one time so this is definitely a powerful light if you guys want to get one of these the links in the description so well this does work for short distances this is best used for something when you're looking at uh, far areas like this or searching a giant field. It sure lights up a mine pretty good. And we are back inside away from the wind and the rain. We got uh, three more flashlights here that uh, Olight sent us including the Javelot which we used up the mountain. You guys can check out their website, you can get these. This is an awesome flashlight for any day use. It's a nice little light, this one as well. I've uh, got this on my keychain. And the Parent 2 is also an awesome one for checking out old mines and everyday use. So you got a nice beam distance and nice lumens. You guys can check out the website 
links in the description. You can bundle these and you can save money. Uh, there's a sale going on right now, so go check it out and you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks to Olight for sponsoring this video. Go check out the flashlights. Links in the description. Go check out their sale now. Take care and we'll see you guys next time.